well. This seems to be the my nemesis lately. And uh, But thank you to all the people at the Retevis company for sending this out for review. I will do my very best. This is not the kind of radio that I normally work with, but you will all you will get a fair shake. Opening the box, we have the Retevis Alluance HD2 book written in reasonable English, I guess. I still don't understand why it has to be so small. It literally can fit in a case this big. So we'll just take that and set it off to the side. We'll do the same thing over here. Then we have the actual radio itself. And by the way, guys, I have made this video twice already and it super sucked. I wasn't happy with it at all. So I'm redoing it this way because I found out some things about this radio that I'm not super happy with. But all, all in all, it's still a reasonable product if you are into DMR radios. With that said, I have already installed, I've already installed the Clippy Clip Clip, and I've already played with the radio a little bit uh, when I was making the other video, and I'm not going to go backwards just because. So we'll set the radio over here. There is the antenna that it comes with. We've got ourselves a little antenna. Get out of the way, book. And then some, it's very nicely packaged. I will give this to the company. It's very nicely packaged. Um, we do, it is a Bluetooth compatible radio. They send you their own Bluetooth and it pretty much syncs up with it almost as soon as you turn it on. Down inside here we have more packaging. We have our signature stick in your ear type of thing. Uh, and obviously the super duper strap that no one uses. Most unnecessary, but still nice that they're sending out. Uh, it is USB-C compatible, and I have already left the cable someplace else. I don't think we need to do a review on a cable. So we're going to setting this all to the side. Basic radio, it really works very well if you are into DMR radios. There are some things, like I said, that I didn't like about it, but I don't think that they would stop you from buying this radio if you are into DMR radios. With that said, let's go ahead and talk about the radio itself. As you can tell, I have left the antenna off for all of my ham heads who have decided that they want to play reindeer games. And thus, if I accidentally push the push to talk button, that I would not actually be transmitting and they know that. So with that said, this is the Alluance HD2 DMR radio. It's capable of transmitting on high power, and you can select a TX power or transmission power on the radio directly, and also has a 0.5 watt low power setting to easily use a DMR hotspot. Turning it on, there are lots of little things we could do with this. The screen is not bad, but it's not great. This looks like the kind of screen that blurs out when you have in uh, lots of sunlight. Um, I do like the the knob, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So this actually has a transmission power of 5 watts on high. Uh, on middle, you can do 4 watts. You can do low at 1 watt, or you can do extra power, which is very weird how they name that. Shut up, phone, uh, at uh, 0.5 watts. The HD2 has the ability to import 500,000 DMR contacts, which sounds pretty cool if you're into that sort of thing. What they have done is they have upgraded this radio to a USB-C type charging the battery is at i believe 2500 or 2600 milliamps actually no it's 3200 milliamps which is really cool it is a beefy battery i do like the way it feels um i don't know that i like the way it connects but it seems to be rugged enough and it did not explode in my hands when i put the battery back in it so that's pretty Cool. Channel mode. Oh, One. channel mode. Okay, great. Channel mode. Okay. 
and then two. oh no no the no mode. no channel mode. channel mode this two. is one of the things i don't like about this radio it's the menu which we will talk about here in a second but getting back to usb c type charging also there's a little light there standard green is go and red is charging you can also charge this inside of its charging block or you can plug it directly into this while it's connected to the radio also you can disconnect it and just plug in the battery only and it will still charge the battery now uh let's see uh it's got an eye-catching alarm button Ooh, no! don't know if i was transmitting don't care because i don't have an antenna on here uh, what else do we have here we have that's a light but it doesn't really seem to do anything real um uh let's see um almost all the operations can be done via the radio keyboard as they call it um but one of the things that i menu. discovered was that Cancel. many things can't menu. be done it's very confusing Cancel. and Cancel. more of a pain in the butt than anything else maybe i'm just too dumb to use this radio even though this is not advertised as a smart radio. All right, so uh, on the side of the radio, you have your standard push to talk, and then you also have, what are they calling these? They're, 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 oh, ah, we'll, we'll come back to these. We'll come back to these. Um, oh, they're, they're side key buttons. So we can like push them and we can turn an FM radio on and off. Uh, and then we can push this, and it doesn't really seem to do anything. Let's go that side key. Still not doing anything. Um, but this also does support Bluetooth voice transmissions. And one of the things that I did like about this is the actual channel knob on the top. Because you can change frequencies One, two. One, just by rolling. Two. We're in DMR mode, and we're also in channel mode. So if we go to frequency mode, mode we can actually just roll into frequencies which is kind of cool because then you don't have to push buttons it's kind of useful hello my fellow preppers what are you doing in the month of october well me i'm going to be in nebo north carolina october 12th through the 13th going to be prep stock going to be doing a little bit of speaking going to be doing a little bit of learning we have got an unbelievable lineup for people that want to find out what preparedness is all about and how do we do that? It's pretty simple. We just invite some doctors, maybe a couple lawyers, maybe a couple guys that wear little shiny things like badges on their chest to teach us all about stuff. We're even going to get a little bit of kung fu going on there. And uh, yeah, that's the kind of place I'm at right now. It's pretty cool, huh? Anyway, we're going to be getting all sorts of people coming in. And we've got lots of giveaways, lots of prizes for people who just show up. So if you don't have your tickets yet, guys, I recommend that you go to prepstock.net get your tickets, find out what this is all about, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Nebo. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Back to the program. Now, with that said, this radio does support NOAA frequencies that you can listen to but not transmit on. Also, the radio, uh, the radio uh, can operate on three different IARU frequency range setups. Ours is the United States, and um, yeah, if this thing will operate on 144 through 146 megahertz, or 430 through 440 megahertz. And it has a capacity channel of 3,000 channels, which kind of blew my mind because if we, if we go to channel two. mode and we do this. One, two, one. Two. It only came with two preset channels, and I don't even know where they go, so it doesn't really matter. You literally, while you can, while you apparently can, although I could not figure it out because I'm just not that bright, um, you can program everything in via hand. It appears that this radio is more focused on programming through the programming cable on your computer and doing such things now from the um from the perspective of a prepper uh it's it's a radio it works you can expect to be able to use uh like i said ham bands between 144 and 146 megahertz 
and also between 430 and 4, 440 megahertz. And if you're legal, you're legal. If you've got a ham license, go ahead. But once again, I do not. I only have a GMRS license, which brings up the neat little fact that this radio does not transmit on MERS, FRS, or GMRS frequencies. Why? I do not know if it's a ham radio, it's a ham radio. Um, it kind of reminds me of another radio that we use so much that um, hmm, isn't DMRS, but would likely do the same job as this radio, even though it's not DMRS. Now, we talked about the lithium-ion battery, which is big and bulky, and frankly, seems pretty robust. 3,200 uh, milliamps an hour, or milliamps, is, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. So looking at the front of the radio, we're going to push the button here. Um, you know, we've got our channel knob that we talked about. We've got our volume knob. And we've got our emergency, what they're calling emergency knob, but it's really a button. There's no emergency knob. Uh, obviously, we have our speaker. Uh, and uh, we have our microphone, which is this tiny little hole right there. And then uh, if we look at the antenna side of the radio, which would be over here because the antenna would be coming out of there we have our push to talk we have our side key one and our side key two hmm now looking at the knob side of the radio there is a speaker slash microphone so you can set up your police handy dandy roger uh little handset which could actually work out with this or you could buy a higher end earpiece which could work with this uh, but this is also where you would put the charging cable, or not the charging, but the programming cable. You would connect it there. We won't go over that because we're not going to program this radio. What we will do, though, is I want to talk to you briefly about the stuff that is on the screen that you probably cannot see because these screens are all very, very confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this here, and I'm going to talk about certain things like uh, you know, the uh, the signal strength meter, the keyboard lock, the battery safe, the FM radio, whether it's on or not, the voice announcement and key tone, and displays remaining battery percentage levels, display power level, uh, you know, current bandwidth, uh, whether it's a CTCS tone, shift up plus or minus, Vox function is on, FM means the channel is in analog mode. DMR means the channel is in DMR mode. GPS function is on. Bluetooth function is on. Now, with all that said, I moved over here so that you guys could read that thing on the screen. Guys, the manual, it's not that great. It's really not that great. I had high hopes for this radio because I really like the Retevis company itself. I guess Alluance is the, is the name of the radio, not the... Not the, uh, not the name of the company, but I really like the idea. I appreciate them sending me this radio. Uh, but I'll be honest with you guys. If you are... <sighs> There's a learning curve. There is a learning curve for this radio that is very high. Uh, and if you are not into DMR radios, then I do not think it would be wise for you to purchase this radio. What I will tell you is that if you are into DMR radios, the reviews that I've seen on this, this radio are very good. Now, there are some ham heads out there that will hook it up to this fancy little thing and tell you, oh my God, spurious emissions. I would remind people in the prepper community that a, that is great, but um, you can't default the radio because it worked in an emergency situation. The only drawback that I see for this particular radio is that it does not transmit on MERS, it won't transmit on GMRS, and um, yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the FRS, the FRS. Uh, but as advertised, it does exactly what the company says it will do, and it's not ugly. So, with that said, if you want to get a look at it, or if you want to take a go buy one, then I will leave a link below for you, and uh, you will be adults and spend your money as you see fit. All right. As usual, stay safe. Nope.
wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to, I have to ask you to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content. If you want more information like this, please contemplate becoming a member of the YouTube membership. There is a link below. And um, yeah, now let's sign off. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.